four inch and a half exactly what we're supposed to have welcome back tiny wood miser family uh thank you for 50 subscribers i know that kind of sounds sad but uh, you know what i'm really happy with that um the main purpose of these is just to get people information as fast and as quick as possible today we're going to do one on the lt70 head calibration there's not a lot of information on this and the older styles just simply had a head calibration where you would measure from the downset tooth to the bed put that value in it was really simple now they've got it to hit a different level of accuracy where they want it done in two positions and the manual that may have came with your mill may still show the old one where it was just a single measurement you put in. If you have a newer one and it seems confusing and you went on YouTube, hopefully you found this video. So now they want it done in two positions. So normally you would do this with the engine running, but I've already got it done and I'm just going to, I'm pretty sure I can walk you through this with it off. I just won't move anything. So let's, so as you can see, right now this is showing six if you wander over to the mill you measure from position the band over top of the first fixed bed rail grab a tape measure to the downset tooth and you can see that is exactly six inches as shown on the screen so if yours was physically measuring six but it's showing seven or whatever as long if it ain't right this is how you correct it in the newer style this is the newest version of it. You can even see they've changed some of the fancy buttons here. This has always been the menu button. This, I believe, was the home icon. And this one was escape. Now they've got fancy fanciness. So what you would do is go into your menu by hitting this button right here. Roll down to head calibration. And now you see that you have to calibrate it in an upper and a lower position. Those values are done for the upper at 30 inches. The lower one should be done at six. Those are what they want. So what you would do is get into this. It doesn't matter if you start with the high or the low. It makes zero difference which one you do. But if you do them in the correct sequence, it's up to you. So right now, what we would do is hit the lower calibration one, highlight it. And if we hit the, yellow, the center of the rotary knob, that would bring you to this screen here, which you would use the rotary knob to scroll through. And like I said, once you physically measure from a downset tooth to the bed, if it's six and an eighth, you would put 6.112. If it was six and a quarter, you would go 6.25 and so on and so forth. That's what it wants for an input is in decimals. So I find it's really easy just to put it right on six, whether you have one person operating the up and down with the engine running, of course, and get it until you're holding the tape until you've got it at six. Stop, come back over here do as we've done so far rotate this knob until you can highlight 6.00 so you would go six hit the rotary knob and roll down until you hit the decimal point and go back to zero zero and then once that is correct you would rotate the rotary knob until you hit done hit the center of the rotary knob and that would revert you back to this screen here then once you've got it at six it's physically physically measuring six it'll ask you to hit the lower capture button, which is this icon right here. So you would hit this button, confirming that the six and the head is at six, hit the capture icon. Then you would go to the rotary knob and highlight the upper, select that, go through and do the same process. Once you would now raise the head up to 30, again, somebody running this, you run back out there, you hold the tape up until the head physically raises up to exactly 30 inches on the tape. Once you're happy with that, you would come back Highlight this, it'll bring you to the blue screen, go 30.00 or 30.50 if it's at six and a half, as long as it's close to six and 30. Like I said, I just prefer to do it right on the six and right on the 30. Once you've got the upper one correct and where that blade is, then you hit the upper capture icon, which is this one here. Now you would actually see this value, the actual position change to 30 inches. If you started on the 30 and you went to the six, it would be showing six. Once those values are in and you've hit the capture after doing each one, the last thing you do is hit the save icon, which permanently saves it so that the head is calibrated. Now, once you, which I've already done this. So once you would hit back to home, it'll revert back and say exactly what you're measuring. And then you would double check it. That's the, hopefully the best way to explain this. Uh, any questions at all, if it seems, still seems unclear, leave it in the comments. I did actually manage to keep this to a short video. I didn't lie. Sometimes I say that and we're at 20 minutes. Um, but hopefully, like information on how to do this newer style, at least from what I found, I searched through Google and everything all else too. 
So hopefully that's got everything done. Um, anything else you want, give me a shout. I like making these videos and I like putting out real world information that hopefully people can find and uh, help, help them on their way. So thanks for watching and uh, if you got any other video ideas, I don't care what brand of mill or what uh, model of mill it is, it, that's totally fine. Leave in the comments, it'll give me something to shoot for next time I'm working on a mill and if I got the time, I'll set the camera up and we'll go from there. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.